Kyoshi's actually going to be bringing his girlfriend, which Scarlett has no idea about. I care about you, but I don't really have any strong feelings for you. Wow, she just got shut down hard. Yay, this is just the best news ever. Hey, my little Pichurinis. Welcome back to another episode of our Not So Berry Challenge, our Generation 2. We are playing with our sim Scarlett for this challenge. The last episode... It didn't really go so well for Scarlett. She's not doing well in school. She lost her first debate. And her boyfriend, who she's really only dating because he's popular. Also, she's not going to bed. It's 2 a.m. in the morning. Because she's got this serial romantic aspiration, which I have to complete as a part of the challenge. He's kind of being sort of intense with her, which isn't really the one. However, snuck up to finishing the first part of the serial romantic. And now she needs to have had three first kisses. So I don't know when this happened. She's already got level four of charisma, which is great. But yeah, three first kisses. She's had one with her current boyfriend. Like I know as part of the serial romantic, part of the aspiration means you have to have a bunch of boyfriends and girlfriends at the same time. So I'm not getting her to break up with her boyfriend despite the fact that I know she's just really not that into him good old Jamie she doesn't really like him as a person so I have to keep them together but I also have to get her having first kisses with other people at the same time which I don't like doing but it is part of the challenge so we're gonna give it a go so if you guys are enjoying this challenge please don't forget to keep giving it a cheeky little thumbs up make sure you are subscribed so you never miss a video and also hit that notification bell so that you never miss an episode as well okay so I said in the last episode to try and help her get over the fact that her life is not really good going the way that she planned. She is planning on going on a trip to Japan with her sister. They went there as kids. They've got friends out there. So it's kind of going to be a little bit of a, a school trip, like a school exchange trip. Although no one is being exchanged because, you know, they're going, but no one's coming back over to Brindleson Bay. But we're going to go over to Mount Komorebi in today's episode and try and help Scarlett sort her life out. Her friend over there, Nanami, is now a teenager as well. You get to see her appearance. And also, we have a bit of a crush on Nanami brother Kiyoshi as well. She perceives him as being extremely attractive. I've also updated his appearance a little bit. I took inspiration from um, a creator called RL Storer. <laughs> RL Stora, RL Stora. You can catch them on Twitter, also on the gallery as well. There, that name, that name right there, Sims by Rachel. So I took their inspiration, but I've actually tweaked him a little bit to look a little bit more like the way I wanted him to look. But thank you to Rachel for having a little bit of a go at updating his appearance so that I also gave him a little bit of a rework and used a bunch of the stuff she used as well. So she's still invisible at school. This is apparently making her happy, but I don't think, I think she would like to become visible, but in the best way possible. I was kind of realizing if they do do this exchange trip, I've updated my Kawaii Stacy Better School mod, which means they can do online school. It's a really cool mod, which also means I'm going to have to buy them both a laptop to bring to Mount Komorebi with them. Also, it will be really helpful for uni as well. So I'm actually going to invest in a decent laptop for them. This one is 4K. We have 17K because both the parents have pretty swanky jobs. Although this one I can get in red. Okay, we obviously have to get the red one. And it's saying I have to place it on a specific object. I'm also kind of low-key realizing their room is still really childish. I completely forgot about that. So I'm going to update it to get them both a little desk each. Whether they'll actually be able to fit in here, I do not know. But at least it will let me place the laptops. Okay, so a red one for Scarlett. And then I sort of feel like her twin sister, Rose, confusingly, is sort of breaking away from her now in terms of like her style and stuff. So I'm going to get her this cool glowy one, which I thought was kind of cool. So there we go. They've each got a laptop each. Roses looks more like a cool gaming laptop. It's got like an RGB keyboard, which is really cool. And while she's on it, I also thought she wants to go to university and study politics. So I thought we should go ahead and look at some of the scholarships that could possibly be available to us. Okay, she's got the best chance of earning an Evergreen Harbor resident. She may be eligible because of where she lives. That's only a $300 one though. Oh man, I was hoping to get her skills high enough that she would actually get them based based on that. Is there a charisma based one? I don't know if there is. And she's not got good enough grades either. Okay, how long have we got left to try and change this? We've got four days. This is definitely not a great deal of time. Okay. Little dye his hair a different color every day. Jasper has got a present that he doesn't like. 
What is wrong with you, Jasper? Can I like do any school stuff while I'm at home? Just to try and increase it a little bit. Okay, so I realize this is a specific PC. You have to buy school portal. Okay, amazing. Oh, this is cool. Okay, so I guess I can only register for online school on days where school actually exists, but I might get her. I'm gonna get her to pay for a study helper. And I also really wanted to make her like join private school. I can't see the option for private school. Maybe the parents have to do it. I have no idea how to do it. So instead, I'm just gonna get her like a bunch of stuff to try and help her out in school. Oh, wow. She's learning a bunch of new skills, which is cool. But I need to try and improve this performance as much as I can. I don't really get why she didn't go to a grade B last time, but oh well. Okay. So I figured they're going to Japan. We should probably... Oh, babes. Hide from everyone. She's really struggling with her skin and it's really getting her down. I have paid for them to have both have like skincare systems as well. Like, we're doing okay as a family. I can definitely like splurge on luxuries and stuff for them. But I'm gonna get her as well. Why don't you get a nice sheet mask? set. There you go. And then get a one-time treatment as well just to see. There you go. You're already feeling better because you're helping address your skin. Okay, she's learning a bunch of skills here. Like, she's going to be very skilled, but she's not actually going to be very good at one skill. She's going to be a bit of a jack of all trades, but whatever. Also, none of these are red anymore, so at least that's good. How is it looking for Rose? She's improved these a bunch as well, so that's good, yeah? I said, yeah, because I read this. Did you eat yet? I'm finished and I'm stuffed. If you guys remember in the last episode, Rose and Jackie started to realize their crush a little bit more. They were flirting a bunch. They didn't kiss, however. I'm kind of tempted to invite Jackie to Japan as well, but it's okay them going to the house, the Ito household, but is it okay to bring a friend as well? Rose isn't as close. I think it could kind of work. I might do it. Oh, and Rose is struggling today. No one likes me. No one will ever like me. Why bother with anything anymore? People like you. Look around. Jackie likes you. I'm gonna give them a new day outfit ready for when they do their little exchange trip. Because this is like their school uniform, but they need something that's a little bit more like... I mean, it's cold where they're going. So something that's snuggly, but also obviously Scarlett is looking to impress. Because uh, Kyoshi's gonna be there. So I've given her like a little... I, I need to keep the red in. That's the thing. With little red boots just for like, you know, she looks warm enough. It's at least a jumper. And then obviously she's pretty good at snowboarding. So I've just updated her snowboarding outfit a little bit as well with the little booties below too. And then for Rose, I do genuinely think that the Ito family might be a little bit confused by her. She has had the biggest change of everyone, but she's not particularly looking to impress them anyway. And she doesn't even really like skiing. So I've given her a warm weather outfit. And there we go. She looks pretty cozy too. Oh, gloves, gloves, gloves. Your little fingies will freeze. Okay, boom. They're all ready to go. Okay, so I guess all that's left to do is go on the vacation. However, I'm trying to work out how to do this. I think I'm gonna have to move them into the household temporarily. Otherwise, when they try and sleep, they'll be like, this is so inappropriate, what are you doing? So I'll move them into the household for like two nights. And also I can, this is the house, it's freaking huge. I can show you the updated appearance of them. So here is Kiyoshi. I think he's looking super, super cute. He's just a great sim. Every now and again, EA gives us great sims. Also, I kind of felt that Nanami aged up really well as well. Here is how Nanami looks too. So honestly, they're both really great sims and i like them both a lot so let's add these guys into here and then i'll get rose to invite over jackie to add two Okay, and let's let's go ahead and play in Mount Komorobi. So we've arrived. It's kind of rainy. I'm gonna get Rose. Rose, 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 don't go inside. Don't go inside yet. Don't go inside yet. Rude, 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 rude. We have to knock on the door before we immediately go and uh, start watching TV. Also, please can you invite over Jackie and we'll temporarily add her to the group too. Ooh, and her jelly sheet mask only has a minute left, which is kind of good because it would be a little bit weird to walk into the house after not seeing them for ages just wearing a sheet mask, you know? There we go. Okay, the sheet mask is off. Jackie has arrived as well, so I can go ahead and add her to the family. Boom. And straight away, she's come over to talk to Rose. Okay, so we'll go ahead and like knock on the doorbell as it were. Knock on the doorbell, knock on the door, slash ring the doorbell. And let's go ahead and check out their amazing home. It is absolutely huge. I think this was the one built by Lil Simsy. And I'll go ahead and get Nanami to come downstairs and say like, oh my God, stop. We've not seen each other since we were little kids, but they've kept in touch this whole time. So that's nice. Okay, Kiyoshi is here as well. He's catching up with Rose. I don't know how much these guys really knew each other. A breathtaking encounter. Oh my gosh. Everyone's into Kiyoshi. Everyone finds Kiyoshi super hot. He must be a really attractive sim because even Rose, who I low key was kind of leaning. I think I might change it in MCC because I would like to change her preference to, oh, she's currently already set to 60% male, 40% female. But I would like to change 
change hers to 100% female and 0% male. Just because I like that she's into Jackie. I think that's pretty cool. Okay, so look at these two cuties getting the chance to catch up as well. Friendos that met out on the slopes. And in fact, it's a real... Oh, okay, instantly we're getting pranked by her too. But look, okay, they're laughing it off. It always makes me worry. It always makes me worry. And it is a really, really nice day outside. I actually think it is one of the festivals today as well. However, I have no idea which neighborhood it's in. Okay, here we go. Festival of Youth. It's happening in this neighborhood. Oh my gosh, it's happening right now. Okay, maybe maybe all of the teens should go and head to the festival since, you know... Oh, is it here? Oh my gosh, I thought there was like a literal... Oh, there is a rainbow. They've arrived and there's an actual rainbow in the sky. Okay, well. Okay, I'm gonna send all of the teens to this festival. What is going on at this festival? Is this like a juice thing? Is this only for kids? Is this like super, super youth? I don't know. It's not a super huge festival, I have to say. Okay, there is some kids playing there. And then there is this Yama... What's he called? Yama... Yama-chan here that you guys can take pictures with, I guess. Okay, the festival might be a little bit young for my team group, but still. Nice to at least experience the festival. Oh, so kids can like experiment with stuff and do sciencey stuff or make collages, I guess. Okay, it's kind of a bit lame, but even Max Villarreal is at this festival. Okay, you guys like got the eggs and stuff from Yamachan as kids or like the little plushy things or like the little toys, was it? Is that something you can only like do or does he make people dance? Is that something you can only do as a little kid? I don't know, but I'm gonna take advantage of her fleet and confidence right now to get her to go over and chat with Kiyoshi. Okay, <gasps> she wants to go and kiss his hands instantly. We'll just catch up with him. We'll like ask about his day, ask how he's been. It's been a long time since we've seen him. I want to check like how much older he is as well. Where is he? He's like one day till he ages up. Okay, so he's only actually got a day of teenhood left. These girls have got four days left. And he's in a flirty mood as well. I actually think he has the romantic trait too. Do you think I'm smart? You just straight up going over and asking him that? Okay. I guess he's kind of like, wow, you look so much more. Like you've changed so much. You're like all grown up now. Last time I saw you, you were just like my kid sister's little friend who was really bad at chess. So I've got to try and like prove how grown up she is by like boasting about messing around. Things that like when you're young, you think make you sound cool, but actually just make you sound kind of lame. It's like trying to desperately to change the subject being like I don't want to talk about this but I like the idea that she's like you know she's young this will make you become more popular she's young and like she doesn't really get what like he's like more grown up and mature like this kind of stuff doesn't particularly impress him and she's like complaining about her school and stuff <gasps> oh she's got a sentiment with him already jeez that was quick. Sentiments about Kyoshi. Happy memories. Scarlet feels close to Kyoshi from good times and happy memories. You're fun, so fun to be around. I love spending time with you. Maybe he's like, maybe we should go out snowboarding or something tomorrow then. Don't forget about Nanami though. You did come over here to hang out with her too. Okay, so they've got a snowboarding date set for tomorrow. He snowboards, she snowboards. This should be pretty great. And Jackie and Rose are getting some time to hang out together. I'm really glad I met you, Rose. Do you enjoy spending time with me? I don't know what mod this is from. I don't know if it's from Slice of Life. Life, but I really like it. Okay, I kind of figure since they're pretty jet lagged and also, you know, they've kind of been on a flight for a long time, it might be nice to send all of them to the onsen just to kind of relax, bathe and chill out a little bit. So the onsen is up here. We're heading back here tomorrow to do a little bit of snowboarding, but for now, it's relaxation time. And I'm gonna have Nanami be like, you guys go on ahead, enjoy it. I've been in it like a million times. I'm gonna get us some foodies for afterwards because everybody is pretty hungry. And I think everyone's showering, ready to go in, which is fun. Let you pop your little stuff into the locker here. Look at her bow and her hair. Like, she looks great. She looks great. Oh, look at this. Hey, sis, I'm really bored. You want to come over and hang out for a bit? As cute as that is, uh, Jasper, I can't travel halfway across the world to hang out. So sorry, I'm busy. And Kyoshi's already in, having himself a nice little relax in there. He's probably got, like, snowboarding or rock climbing injuries, so he's just vibing. He's just relaxing. And the girls are coming out as well. Okay, so Scarlett's got up and moved so that she can sit next to Kyoshi, who's got his eyes closed closed to be fair. And I'm gonna have her just try and get to know him a little bit more. Meanie. Oh, she's going through a mean streak. She's trying to show off by being mean. And she wants to post a shelf selfie by being in here. Oh my gosh, be careful with your phone in the water like that. It might be waterproof to be fair. I feel like he's being careful. It is his kid sister's friend and like maybe she's been a bit too obvious in her intentions. I don't know. So while these two chit chat away. Oh wow, these two are sitting really close to each other. Can you like do any cute interactions in here? Can they treat like a sofa where they like tickle and stuff. I kind of feel like maybe they can. Scarlet says, you always act like you're so happy. Are you really that happy though? Oh, jeez, you guys going to a little bit deep over here. I think that's a bit much for him. You guys don't know each other that much. Although I can't get Jackie off her phone. Jackie, get off your phone a sec so we can do some cuteness.
this, please? Oh, and Nami's come to join us as well. That must mean the foodies are done. She having a nice little relax for herself over here. And in fact, Kiyoshi's getting out. <laughs> I reckon it'd be quite hard though to go from like seeing someone as your little sister's friend to like they might look all grown up and be like you know being intense with you but they're still your little sister's friend you know even if they do look like this now he's playing it safe for now but they do have a snowboarding date tomorrow so and I can't get these guys to do any interactions I don't know if it's because other people are around but they just won't do anything which is super annoying so I'm gonna get everyone's house and food instead oh my gosh although Scarlet you might want to go for a wee don't wee in the onsen please that's just really weird gross behavior and oh my gosh, it's now almost 2 a.m. in the morning. I know the jet lag means you might, it might be like you find it really hard to go to sleep at night, but I'm gonna send everyone home anyway, especially because we got snowboarding tomorrow. Especially because today is Monday and you do technically have to do your online school. You don't get out of school just because you're here. Okay, so this is Nanami's room. Oh wow, that's Nanami's room. Why is everyone's bedrooms in this house? I'm a little bit confused. Okay, this must be the parents' bedroom. And then this must be Nanami's room. So this house is annoyingly the smallest, but also the room that I'm gonna have to add all the beds to you so i'm gonna move her wardrobe temporarily out into the hallway so i can pop another bed in here and then i might actually make it so that the others are like air mattresses because i think it'd be unrealistic to buy that many beds you know so the other two are like air mattresses nami obviously will sleep in her own bed i feel like scarlet would run upstairs and be like well nami's my friend so i sleep in this bed which leaves rose and jackie to sleep here although i don't think they'll mind because they get to like peek over each other which is cute so look they kind of get to sleep side by side the dogs and these guys sleep here also look at their money thousand pounds these guys are like rich rich okay and i need to register everybody for online school to stop them from going into school so i think i need the specific school one which is really annoying but we're gonna have a line of laptops a line of pcs over here or maybe in here you have a whole separate room yeah i'll do it in here it's the only way to stop them okay so i've got everybody signed up for online school the dad's got work in an hour but i'll get him to serve like some breakfast for the guests first because i think it's a polite thing to do and i feel like he would what's his job actually oh i think the story is that he is trying to modernize the area whereas like there's another person who he really hates although they're not on here as hating each other but yeah there's another family here who's trying to keep it looking more traditional and they like hate each other that's the story that's why their house is so modern as well so jackie's up they need to do like an hour of online school or whatever so i'll get that out the way first like this interactive lecture which is pretty cool this is all part of that kawaii stacy mod kiyoshi is up as well he's got cake for breakfast really i guess you might need those calories for doing your snowboarding nanami's up as well okay the whole gang's starting to wake up apart from the twins they're being very slow <gasps> and dirty money Oh my gosh. I don't want him to lose his job. No, 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 no. Lose the papers. I wasn't expecting to have to make all these decisions, you know? I don't, I don't want to control this family. We're just here for a little amount of time. Oh my gosh, the twins are really taking advantage. Come on. You guys are so jet lagged. What? They slept until 12. Ah, uh, no surprises. Scarlet has woken up feeling flirty, remembering that she is in Japan with a certain someone. Oh my gosh, what have you got on your feet? Oh my gosh, girls. Why? Oh, it's because they take their shoes off inside. But that shoe in my game as CC like changes to be no shoes. That's very annoying. They actually missed the chance to do their online lectures. It's your girls. Okay, okay, so Kyoshi's gonna be like, let's head up the slopes. So we've done our schoolwork for the day. Well, some of us have. You two have not. I feel like Jackie and Rose would be like, actually, I don't think we really fancy it. Like, Jackie doesn't know how to ski and Rose hates skiing. So we are actually gonna go ahead and stay at home, but you guys all go. So it's just gonna be Scarlet and Nana me, but a little does Scarlet know that Kyoshi's actually gonna be bringing his girlfriend, which Scarlet has no idea about. This is actually in-game lore as well. They have like a crush on each other, so I've decided to make it official. I think Scarlet's gonna find herself in for a bit of a shock. So bless her, look, she's all like excited about being out on, like look, feeling close. Feel like everything's going so great. There's her and Kiyoshi. Oh my gosh, is she being flattering? Okay, she's asking him about his relationship. I care about you, but I don't really have any strong feelings for you. Wow, she just got shut down hard. I didn't even make her do that. But instead of it just being these two, it's actually also his girlfriend here, who is Kaori Nishidek. And I think poor Scarlett's about to get her first, her first little taste of heartbreak as 
obviously these guys are going out. She's gonna be like, Nanami, why didn't you tell me? Nanami's like, I didn't realize they were actually going out. Like, he's been crushing on her for ages, but I didn't realize they were actually a thing. Turns out they are, though. Oh, well, she wants to rile up. Okay, don't get mad at Nanami. It's not her fault. Okay, can you do less caressing right in front of us, please? It's a little bit much. Oh, wow. She's she's not happy with Nanami. She's like, you should have told me. You should have told me. Meanwhile, these guys are just being really freaking adorable. And oh my gosh, he now has the urge to woo-woo. Great. I feel like Scarlet's like, did we come up here? Oh, hidden lifestyle progress. Okay. Okay, well done, Rose. I feel like she's gonna be like, did we come up here to flirt or did we come here to snowboard? Come on, let's get down the slope right now. Let's go down this one. Can you guys go down that one? Oh, you're not high enough level yet. Okay, you can go on the intermediate slope though. So why don't we go ahead and at least get on the slopes, please? And oh, look at these two staying behind at the top of the mountain. They're like, you guys go first. Oh, well, Scarlet, show us what you got on the slopes. Because from what I remember as a kid, you were pretty good at this. See? There you go. Can you go like in and out of these? Oh, you are good. Oh, nice, nice, nice. See, you've at least got- Oh, jeez. Okay, okay. I mean, the right- He's right up there. Maybe he didn't see that. Maybe he didn't see that. I hope he didn't see that. Oh, he's just sort of stood up here being all in love and blushy and even dancing and just feeling generally happy about life. Oh, Scala, I feel for her. Everything was going wrong, so she thought she'd come to Japan to try and make things better. And instead, I kind of feel like now she's left feeling worse than she did before. So, the guy she's actually got- a crush on oh jeez wow okay he's apparently pretty good at this has a girlfriend and just doesn't see her that way still like even though she looks older and she acts older he still sees her as his kid sister's friend probably had no idea this whole time that she had a crush on him and even worse yet he's like oh now that you guys have all met each other now that you've met Kari, i figured tomorrow before you guys go home we should all go on a little rock climbing adventure together me and Kari are super adventurous so they are they both got the adventurous trait annoyingly so we should go climbing up this wall. I know you guys have been practicing at home. Why don't we go on a rock climb adventure and see if you can reach the top of the mountain or at least a bit of the mountain before you guys go home. You get the best view of Mount Kamarebi from there. So Scarlet's like, yay, this is just the best news ever. Oh my gosh. And to add insult to injury, she has now just hurt her foot. What a biff from having an imperfect snowboarding run. Oh, Scarlet, things just really aren't going well for you, are they? Should she try and maybe find somebody else to bring up the mountain to try and make Kyoshi jealous? Uh, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. She's apparently playing sad guitar. I didn't even know she could play guitar, so this is news to me. But let me know what you guys think in the comments below. If you're enjoying this series, don't forget to give it a cheeky thumbs up. I think we've got one episode left of her being a teenager before she heads to university. So that's pretty exciting. And I will see you guys in the next episode. Bye.